Today are dividends the best way to get rich? Well, maybe, kinda, no, yeah? Let's just jump right into this one, guys. Welcome back, passive income investors. Like today, I want to say thank you to the 300 plus subscribers. You guys just keep rolling in, which means there are a ton of passive income dividend investors alike. And I can't say thanks enough to all of you that leave comments and slap likes and make me uh, motivated to continue making these videos. And today, I want to break down our dividends the best way to get rich. Because if you're like me, you're scrolling around on YouTube all the time and you're listening to these realtors batter stock investors and stock investors investors battling with the realtors because they all seem to think there's a better way to get rich and a lot of them if you're like a Grant Cardone kind of investor hate stocks you hate Wall Street you think it's all a scam and I want to kind of give you my own debates on whether I think dividend investing is the best uh, way to get rich or if there are some other better options but I want to start by uh, by saying thank you so much guys uh, for sticking around and watching uh, these videos so let's just get right into this and I want to start by saying uh, dividends are absolutely not the best way to get rich ever but when we're talking about passive income I think there are much better ways to produce passive income and I'm going to talk about the knowledge box uh, as Ty Lopez would say just knowledge the only word uh, he should be in the Wikipedia for should say Ty Lopez and next to his name should say knowledge uh, now why am I saying this guys I'm saying um, you should only stick to what you understand and keep in your realm of competence which is something that I want to mention now that I have 300 subscribers all of you guys are probably here because you're either just getting into this or this is something you feel like you can understand very well now before I break down why I personally love dividends I'm just I'm saying this to help keep you in an understanding of your own realm for instance if you know how to make websites and sell stuff on Amazon or eBay and you're making a killing doing that you're better off putting all of your time and energy into that and then taking the money you're making and finding a guy like Grant Cardone that knows enough about real estate you can give him your money to invest or you could just put it, slap it in an ETF or S&P 500 index fund, guys. Anything like that to essentially continue growing your wealth because you're going to be better off sticking into your realm of confidence. You, competence. These are tools. Dividend investing, real estate, they're tools to help continue to grow your wealth after you've made some capital already. Now, you can make a lot of extra money if you know this stuff very well, which is probably why you're here. The more you know about this, the more money you can make, but you should only stick in your realm of competence. If you know more about real estate, which is something I'm not comfortable doing, I'm not comfortable managing a million dollars in liabilities and loans, guys, to own you know over a million dollars worth of real estate, um, that's something, especially in Canada here, where real estate's been out of whack, it's been very volatile here and very expensive. Um, I don't understand it enough to be comfortable making a deal, but I watch people all the time um, on here, like Meet Kevin, Grant Cardone, like I watch Concrete, I watch so many real estate investors, I love them, I love taking in the knowledge they have and the fact that they can grow passive income and you can get a manager and make it almost purely passive and own something concrete. I mean, there's nothing wrong with doing that and I think it's actually brilliant if you uh, know enough about real estate. It's something really, really cool and it's a good avenue. But in my circle of competence, if there's two things I know best, it's magic shows and it's definitely dividend investing, guys. <laughs> so if many of you don't know, I'm a full-time magician and speaking of working in your realm of competence, guys, if I told you to go put on a 500 theater magic show and it's gonna cost you five to 10 grand, and just slap it in front of you and say, go nuts, you'd probably uh, be freaking out a little bit and having no understanding of what to do. But my entire life has been in entertainment and production, so I'm trying to do a show. And things are changing, guys. Life's always changing. I just lost a client I've had for several years. Uh, I had a client for seven years. I just lost them last week, and I'm gonna lose that weekly income. Thank God for dividends and thank God I understand how to put a show on and hopefully it pulls off because if it doesn't, I lost a client and I might be losing out on thousands of dollars putting this magic show together. Uh, all of this sounds fascinating. You guys can follow it actually right here. There's a playlist where I teach you guys how to put together a show or how I'm doing it. And I'm about to run the ads. The tickets are about to go live and I'm going to keep you guys updated on how those ads work. I'm going to show you the back end of all of this. So consider liking and subscribing if you're uh, into that stuff too. But bringing it back to the dividends and thank God for dividends because I almost make as much dividends as this client has been making me anyways. It's only like an extra 500 bucks a month. But I mean, it's in 
income, right, guys? Now, dividends especially, I think, in my own personal realm of understanding, I think dividends are one of the best things you can ever learn uh, to get involved with because personally, investing in an S&P 500 index for me and probably for you is not the best route to go down because I'm looking, I'm not looking 40 or 20 20 years out, right? 20, 30, 40 years out. I'm not looking that far out. I'm not buying ETFs to retire when I'm 60. I'm looking to basically utilize my dividends and a retirement fund, hopefully in the next 10 years at the max. I really want to start utilizing my dividends to pay for my bills if I need to tomorrow. And you will never achieve that by buying an S&P 500 uh, index fund or anything under a, like a mutual fund. And then you're also paying fees on top of that. Those are good things to buy if you're looking out for like an RSP or a 401k or something where you can't touch it. It's a retirement account. There's nothing wrong with putting a little bit of money in there. But for my own personal opinion, and I'm sure for yours as well, you are looking to make some money tomorrow if you need to. That is why we invest for dividends. I don't day trade. I don't swing trade. That is not in my circle of competence. I actually watch uh, tons of people on YouTube successfully make millions of dollars day trading. It's just not for me and that is not passive enough for me. I don't want to play the volatility in the market. I might get into swing trading soon. Um, I think I could do okay with swing trading. It's something that I've done in the past with a lot of success. It's just something I haven't uh, left the funds sitting around for because usually you need to come up with a year plan and you want a decent sized amount of fun to make a position and half decent sizes uh, but it's something that I might be looking into a little bit farther down the road but when we're talking about just straight up passive income if you buy the right companies if you stick within that S&P 500 and larger caps and maybe a small mid-range caps that have to do with REITs to get your yield your dividend yields up a little higher because real estate uh, stocks actually pay more uh, I'm not gonna get into the whole dividend breakdown but essentially, when you're trying to get your bills paid for, guys, I don't think there's a better route than dividends because essentially, you can click a button on your phone, own the stock. You can own Apple anywhere in the world by clicking a button on your phone. That's literally how I buy stocks sometimes, just off my phone app. It's kind of incredible. And then on top of that, and there's also a psychological factor with that that I think might be the reason stocks are so volatile because people get nervous when they don't know what they're buying. But I mean, you can buy it right off your phone right away. And then on top of that, guys, uh, you automatically start getting paid so long as you buy it uh, before the X dividend date. There's a certain time you have to own a stock before you can start receiving the dividends. Uh, but the second you buy it, you pretty much own it. And then on top of that, as long as the company's big enough uh, that they have what we call volume, so people are actually moving, buying and selling the stock on a regular basis, it's so easy to get in and out. You can get buy a stock and sell a stock within the same two seconds. It's kind of incredible how the markets work that way. And it's it's just something that if you come to understand, and you can even uh, work your way around bonds. Uh, bonds is something that I haven't talked about, but I'm thinking about doing a video just on bonds. Uh, it's something I don't own, but I've been looking into recently because they add stability to your portfolio. If you don't know what a bond is, essentially it's basically like a loan. It's you giving money out as a loan and someone's gonna pay you back, but you can do this very securely like through the government. So you can loan the government money and they might pay you a two or 3% yield. So it'll be like a dividend you're getting paid out uh, to loan the government money. You can do this in something called corporate bonds. Uh, there's a lot of different avenues you can go down, but this is the easiest way to make money right now. So say you put the work in, you've worked your ass off, you put your time into something you're competent about and you say, you know what, I wanna get into investing and you learn, about, you watch videos like this and you're watching all these other dividend investors and you say, you know what, I'm gonna take some money, I have 100 grand saved up. You can go buy one stock tomorrow, which again, you gotta be careful with how you leverage yourself. Warren Buffett says leverage is the, what is the term? Leverage is your worst enemy because essentially if you got all your money in one basket, even though it could be the greatest company in the world like Apple, there's nothing saying something horrible couldn't happen to them tomorrow tanking the company. Leverage can ruin you. You don't have to be over diversified either. You could be leveraged owning six companies in my opinion. I wouldn't own much less than four. If you're beginning out stock investing, you might only end up wanting to own a couple because your position size might be a lot smaller. But if you had a hundred grand, I'd be comfortable investing that between even five companies. But you want to be somewhat intelligently uh, diversified and not over leveraged so you don't screw yourself. But you could take a hundred grand and even put it into one company. Let's just say one REIT that pays 6% and you're automatically going to be making $6,000 a year without doing anything, which is an extra 500 bucks a month. That could change somebody's life and that's where I'm slowly getting to. I'm currently making uh, right around $400 a month in dividends. Going to be pushing hopefully that 500 
dollar mark coming up this year which you guys can continue to watch uh, if you're interested in stuff like that as well but dividends guys in my opinion I'm not gonna argue the fact that because there's all these different real estate investors what is better real estate or what is better dividends um, in my opinion it's whatever you're most competent about and honestly if you're not that competent you could just give somebody the money that is and then they can just invest it for you I think it's the wisest decision but if you're like me and you're making you know anything over a 10% return you're beating the markets typically uh, maybe this is the best route for you and it probably is because you're subscribed to this channel you beautiful you beautiful bastards you're all subscribed to me so but that's why you're subscribed to this channel because you are probably going down the same road I am which you can always continue to watch me here guys so I hope you enjoyed this quick video about uh, the best way to get rich in my opinion I love them dividends uh, I think it's the quickest easiest and if you do it intelligently uh, one of the most convenient ways to make money without leaving your bedside uh, so I hope you enjoyed this quick video guys stay cool stay awesome I look forward to chatting to you real soon